Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 with Episode 2. You guys might remember last month we did Season 2 Episode 1 when it released and now we're here for the second episode of the second season. A lot of bad stuff happened at the end of the first episode. There's a gigantic statue monster called the Admin and maybe this episode we're gonna fight it because it's about to beat up Beacon Town in Episode 2, Giant Consequences. Let's get started. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Oh, we know all about it. It did not turn out so well. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter we chose which one? I forget, the, the builder one, I think. The adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes yeah, the we chose that one. itself is the pull. Oh, and these things. I hated these things. Do we have to fight more of these in today's episode? Some I hope not. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret. To wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, this jerk. So yeah, that's where we left off. I don't know what's gonna happen now. He just might trample over the town and go back to his house. But this guy calls himself the admin. And what does that really mean? I'm hoping we'll find out this episode. Hi. Greetings, tiny people. I am the admin. Hi, admin. I'm Zebra. Sorry, that was probably really loud to your pathetic, tiny ears. Well, that's just rude. What? What is that? I'm scared right now. Well, guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Oh, well, uh. Um, okay, there you go. I'm right oh, here. Quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like looking right at you. Well, then why did you ask? Um, speak with me face to face. Uh, could you get me an elevator? Oh, boy. <laughs> admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse? Maybe. What's going on here? Oh, we'll, we'll handle it. That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? There's uh, no need everyone, to worry, we'll handle it. Everyone, hi. There's nothing to worry about. The giant prismarine colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal, I swear. Well, okay, I don't know about so swearing, we'll just try. Admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? We'll do our best. He's getting impatient. You we might want to go. Destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone. I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay, diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. I sure hope so. <laughs> He's getting impatient. I don't think we want to test his patience. I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Para. Do not test my patience. That's what I was saying. Guess you should get up there, Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, coming your way. Oh, oh, thanks. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. All right, so I guess we can use that to climb up. We got this. Just make our own elevator up there. <laughs> he nodded too. He's like, yeah, I'm a part of this conversation. All right, this is, I guess, the most conventional way to get up there. <laughs> I like a little jump. Oh no! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, what happened there? I fell down. That was weird. But we are up. Ah, Good. There you are, Jesse. Yep, here I am. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Wait, you knew about oh, that? Oh, 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 this is going to be perfect. So does he know everything You've about everyone? Um, I guess thanks. I, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. Um, That's oh. why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? Huh. To tempt you down to the sea temple. But now... Your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Oh, come on. We just built that. Oh, 
Come on. What do these people have to do with it? Leave them alone. It's just me and you, right? Champion, unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Well, if it's a fight you won, I guess it's a fight you can. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> you're gonna talk us to death. That's what you're gonna do. Enough talk. Let's fight. Uh, hold on. Uh, <laughs> awkward. What do you wait? Is that a clock? Fight Whoa! Let's add some drama. Wow, that's insane. So he has some oh, crazy tools. Powerful. Yeah. So he really is the admin. He controls everything so in this world. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't oh boy. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> So how are we gonna take this guy out? Oh, probably by dodging. That might be a good start. Move, move, move. Oh, I don't like this guy one bit. He's really mean. <laughs> oh gosh. Like, what can we really do besides run? He's just too big. I don't think Clank and our sword against him is gonna make too much of a difference if he's made out of stone. Oh, hey, Petra. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh. Not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger. Like, uh... Like the structure block. Or a giant cannon. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make tall, dark, and ugly regret smashing my town. I really don't know if the structure block will do anything. Go, Jesse. I mean, it's powerful, but is it really that powerful? Yeah, that's right. Oh boy, stay safe, Petron. She's so much larger than your puny size. So rude, dude. All right, so we got to place this down in some good spots, like right here, and we can place it down more than once. Right? Might make your teeth a little greasy, seeing as she's Miss Butter. Might not be good for your hygiene. <laughs> oh, run, run, move! Oh gosh, stay safe, Petra! Oh boy, I hope she's okay. Come on, one more, one more, bada boom! Start smacking him with that, and it's not doing much. Clever distraction, Jesse. But that's all it was, right? Just a distraction. Oh no, this ain't good. He just smashes him like nothing. Yeah, that didn't, whoa! Some cool effects there, but geez, that did nothing. the structure block? Ha ha, Oh, come on. This tiny thing will save you, Jesse. Not from me. Oh, he ate it. Come on. Oh, okay, dodge. So now what are we gonna do? That was like our only hope, right? Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. So he doesn't know exactly where we are, even though he was able to follow us back, which is really weird. Okay, he knows I'm here. I gotta move, I gotta move. Move it. Uh, there, if there, run, 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 run. <laughs> I don't like Jesse, it. I don't like it one bit. Just give yourself up. Uh, are we back to hiding? This is so weird. But yeah, he, he he doesn't know exactly where we are. Then how exactly did he follow us here? Maybe he was just able to see us, but you'd think that if he was close enough to see us walking back, we'd be close enough to see him, seeing how huge he is. So that's just really weird. Wait a minute, did he see the back of his head? Oh, that might be our ticket. That design on the back of his head. Uh-huh. seen it before. Yeah, it's what we... Green soldiers back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Mm-hmm. So now we gotta go ahead and do the deed to him, which might be dif difficult, because we gotta climb way up there. Uh, we also might need a really big sword, which just seems a little unconventional at the moment. Oh, hi! There we are. All right, Admin, you wanna fight? You got one, here I am. <laughs> Let's try this again. Can we climb up the big dude? He doesn't seem like he would have too much to grip onto. Oh, he's got us. This just isn't fair. I noticed. Hey, rock face! Eat this! Oh! Hey, is it who I think it is? It is! Hey, it's Lucas! Finally here to help us! Oh no! Oh, that hurt. That probably hurt. I think I dunked my head there. Oh, drop on the horse! Yeah, perfect. Oh gosh. Quick version. The admin. He like built the world or something. Which I still have questions about. Are you all right? I mean, he really had you up there. Um. Everything's still in one piece? Lucas, 
You just saved my life. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> oh, now you have. Bucket list is a little shorter. I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw um, a spot on the back of his head. That I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. It's our best shot. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Oh, thanks, Lucas. Be careful. All right, let's go to it. Start beating this dude up. We got the horse this time. I hope the horse trusts us. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Blockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. <laughs> and I don't think you stand a chance. Lucas is cool. Just like Patron. Our friends are great. For protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. Is everything annoying to this guy? That ends now. Oh boy. Got. Yeah. We gotta get up there quick before you start smashing more stuff up. All right, we just gotta move. Run, run, run. While everybody else runs out of the way, we run into the action. Come on, you can do it, Jesse. Big jump, big jump. Bada boom, nice. I He realized really quickly. Uh-oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I'm on your back. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if- No! Oh, come on, you jerk. I wish you hadn't done that, admin. Mm-hmm. You're gonna regret the day you decided to mess with us, because we're gonna punch you in the back of the head. We gotta try. Jess is a lot more confident than I am. All right, come on, come on, come on. With the, the power of our anger, maybe we can defeat him. Oh, we gotta move over here. This really is like Shadow of the Colossus or something. It's crazy, I love it. Oh gosh, come on, come on. Uh, oh no, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't press, no, no, I pressed the wrong button. He ate me. Ew. I didn't press the right button, I guess. Well, time to try that again. <laughs> okay, for real this time. Oh, I guess we're just gonna punch it. Bada boom! Nice, and that worked. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Your champion? I got some major questions about this admin that I wanna talk about whenever we get the chance to, because this is getting weird. This is getting really weird, but he's gone, right? Or maybe that was just one form of the admin. Like, that's what that's the feeling I have. Stay behind me, Stampy! Oh gosh, run, Stampy, run! Run from the googlies! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Oh boy, well we got the clock now, maybe we can do it. Just swing it, right? How to use it? Uh, you gotta try. Um, yeah, just reset. Just like an actual clock. It's just really huge. There we go, we did it. Oh, the opening credits. As the sky turns and it becomes morning once more, just very weirdly. This is so cool. So with this little doodad, we were, we were able to control a lot, but this is controlling the time of day throughout the entire world. It's insane. But here we go, we're in episode two. Beacon Town ain't looking so hot, but we'll do what we can, right? Most of the zombies are burning away. Thank goodness. Everybody seems to be in one piece. Nobody got taken out, right? I'm glad to see. Hi. <laughs> so we're all all right. That's good to see. Like I'm just, I'm so happy nobody met a tragic end in that situation. The parrots all seem to be in one piece. The parrots are super important and everyone's getting back to building. So no no taking a second to break. It's just the members of Beacon Town are go, go, go. They're already back to building. Oh, I like that, that's like scaffolding. Oh, I like that banner. It's a really cool looking banner. Oh, those ones are too. I wish they had those banners in the actual game. That'd be cool. I really do hope that some of the stuff that's in Minecraft Story Mode that hasn't been in actual Minecraft yet eventually makes its way because a lot of it's really cool. It still works. Yeah. Man. This thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? Not very. Not very at all. Um, 
That's a good answer. Make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. Uh, I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Hmm. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Sure. That's fine with me. I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. <laughs> hustle sticks? I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Oh, you definitely can. I think that he should be able to do it if Jesse he wants to do it. Charge before. I'll believe you. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Nice. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. Go get him, uh, Radar. Yeah, good. That's good. Okay, great stuff. He's gonna go ahead and watch over the clock. I mean, so I don't think anything too to bad is gonna happen to it. Well, I figured we... I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, that might be a good idea. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. Why are you apologizing? It's not your fault. No, it, it was like a... I feel terrible. I'm sorry, and um, when I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's, well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. What does that mean? Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but it just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? Oh, that I definitely agree with. I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Well, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. Sure hope so. We're always trying our best. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I don't see how it could be mean at all. That's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Aww. That's true. Look at that smile. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. So are we gonna have another building section like we had in the first episode? Cause it's so cool. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy. Uh, let's see indeed. That's a cool Reuben banner as well. Both of those on the left and the right. Yes, it is. Oh, wow, well, look at this. We can even turn the camera a little bit. I like that. Um, Okay, so while we're building, I, I really don't know what I'm gonna build, especially with these materials. I don't know what kind of Rupin-like thing I could build. Either way, while we're building, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about a couple things about everything that's going on. First, I think that the admin has several different forms. I think the admin is going to come back. Okay, that's the wrong button. The admin's definitely going to be coming back sometime very soon. And why I think that is just, look at how powerful he is. Obviously, and he said it himself, he's built every block apparently Jesse has ever stepped on. He's created this entire world. And when he says it, I think he even means the worlds we've gone to through teleporters. He's created all of it. He's the admin. He has created everything we have adventured through. Which probably also means he has absolute power over all of it. And that's just really interesting. And I think what that ends up meaning is that he maybe has he even created everyone? Has he created Jesse? Has he created, he obviously created this gauntlet and he knew Jesse was going to be there. He's not only a creator, but apparently a bit of a prophet. And usually, you know, if he knows people that well, that probably means he created them, which is interesting because he has very little regard for them. So maybe I'm getting it mixed up a little bit. But obviously if he has the power to create a gauntlet like that, I think that he is not just a giant statue man. I think that's just the form he's taking right now. And then he's probably gonna show up again in a different form and we'll have to see. When will that happen? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, also, this is not a good looking monument so far. I know. I'm trying my best though. Man, that was intense. That was a really cool battle. I liked it a lot. It's been a really cool season so far. Just high stakes right away. And I like that. I mean, did he even create, you know, stuff like the structure blocks, the, um, what are they called? The, the blocks that created the wither storm? Who knows? I'm not really sure. Did the old builders know about? Like, there's a lot of stuff that I would like to hear more about. I mean, we still don't know where some of you know the characters are. Stuff like Harp, Harper and Ivor. I wonder what they're up to. I'd be interested to see, and hopefully we can find out soon. 
Um, for right now though, we're focused on building this monument. It's going okay, I'm just sort of placing blocks where they might look pretty. And I think that they're looking all right. I wish we had a bigger variety of blocks to use because you know, these are nice, but they're not anything crazy spectacular. Um, let's go ahead and put a chiseled quartz right there. And we will make sort of a bit of a thing here. And this will sort of be, I guess, where people can, I don't know, sit or relax or something. Um, I think that's that'll be good. There. It's just a nice little room. That is a monument fit for Reuben. I know, I'm not that good of a builder. Especially in this context with these blocks. I'm not really too familiar I with know, it. I know, I never met Robin. Reuben. <laughs> oh, right. Righteous. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. All right, I can see uh, Radar was still looking at the clock in the macro, trying to figure out how it works. Everybody seems okay oh, hat now. On. They seem you happy and okay, and that's good. Cavern. You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, wow. uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> Just stunning. Uh, yeah. Thanks. I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was artful. Oh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Spare me the pity props, Jesse. Don't need them. Hey, it wasn't <laughs> pity. I'm, I'm just saying I know I'm still getting used to fighting with only one eye. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's cool. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just glad my shop's all right. It's yeah, a that little sad sunk. that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, tour guide. That's rude. Boss. That's, That's a rude why thing to I say. think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <laughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep just uh, talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, what? Agreed. Okay, you two, what are you hiding? You're being weird. Oh, uh, uh, nothing. Oh, there's totally yes, something. okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp. Oh, and they're bringing and Petra, too? Biome. Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Ooh, busted. Are you leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. Oh. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before. I mean, and, uh, you can at least help you know, rebuild. About, I mean, uh, the town's in the shambles. Possible stuff. We haven't even rebuilt yet, Petra. Well, I didn't think you needed me for that. It would be appreciated. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just. Uh, wh oh, wait, what? What? Is that snow? It's a snowflake. What in the world's happening? Is it Christmas time? But they're not in the right biome for that, right? I mean, maybe it's that doesn't matter in story impossible. mode? This isn't a snow biome. Exactly what I thought. So this isn't natural. Uh oh. This might be the work of an admin. Oh, oh yes it is. The one and only. Oh boy, what did I say? You can take different forms, I called it. So much fun during our last little battle, super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Oh, now he's Wait, a snowman. You're the admin? Well that giant Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I guess. I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Uh, maybe, maybe just not. My mouse cursor's right? in the way. Um, oh wait, hold on. Fighting a giant statue in the middle of town? Uh, okay, yeah, that was kind of cool. <laughs> it was. Uh, see? I knew you'd know what I was talking about. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you creations? going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. I'd rather not. Um, we gotta rebuild our town. Oh, no. What are you up to now? No, oh, well, where'd, where'd it go? Oh, come on. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. Why? <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. 
<clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that club. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. Oh it's boy, simple. sounds pleasant. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Oh, we'll, we'll try. That sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. Are you insane? Are you just an actual crazy person? Is it because I look like this? Yeah, I can see why you'd think that. <laughs> but no, 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 I'm just fine. I promise you. I don't trust why are you. are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. You gotta play I mean, cool. This is gonna be epic. What? Oh, come on! Oh, is he gonna Time attack to him? show this goon what the Skitaro Crag Jumpers do to town destroyers. Oh, oh nice! I don't think it did much. Yep. <laughs> you think <laughs> you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, oh find the clock, save the town. So these are new mobs in Minecraft that I actually haven't oh, seen. What are they called? People. They're not called withers. Hide everyone. Right? I forget, oh gosh. They're like skeletons, but creepier. And let's beat them up. And we got zombies too. This is not a good thing to juggle between. Snipers and melee attackers. All right, I guess I'm dealing with these things. Yeah, I think these are called withers, but I can't remember. And maybe they're not. Uh, let's just get you. Oh, oh, got you, got you. Boom, maybe they're just called ender skeletons. I can't remember, we're running out of energy though. So it looks like they have sort of like a second where they draw back and that's when we're gonna want to dodge, but we got them no problem, they're actually pretty weak. And zombies. Zombies though, we're sort of used to battling a bit more. Okay, um, back it up. Uh, is there a way to change weapons? I guess not right now. I know in the past we've had that option. Oh, more of these things. Now there's three of them, okay. Might be a bit more to juggle. But unless we go ahead and get this clock, these get out. These guys are just gonna keep on, whoop, attacking. They're just gonna keep popping up because now that it's foggy, they can spawn during the day. I don't think it matters that it's, you know, day or nighttime since it's foggy out, the monsters can spawn. Can you stop it? I am awful at this. It's just so much to juggle. Here, you're about to, oh, I dodged that. Okay, if I, rude, if I do that, and then you're gonna reel, there we go. Boom, 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 nice. Finally, that was awful. Well, you seem to be handling yourself just well. You're just fine. Guys? Oh, hi. Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Oh, really? that's nice. Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course. Well, I, I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. All right, let's head to it. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. It's true though, we need somebody protecting protect the town. Protect the town while we're gone, all right? Mm. <laughs> Nerm's up to the task. Oh, will Is you two help? Thing gone? For yeah, now. For now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, <laughs> Nerm. I'm glad we got mm. some support back, back at home, really. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Me too. Or do we don't really know much about our quest already. Here we go. So there we go, there's the first part of episode two of Minecraft Story Mode, episode two. This admin guy, he doesn't seem to be done with the fun and games just yet. We're gonna go to this ice tower and see how everything is, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Minecraft Story Mode. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Snowman Zebra so I know you've watched the end and that you are a Zebratastic viewer. If you enjoyed today's episode and you wanna see more like it, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.